some time now I've been trolling the internet looking for a UK manufacturer of black CA glue and to my surprise I came across a company called O3 Adhesives. Uh, they do a range of clear CA glue as well as the all important for me anyway black CA glue which I want to use for crack filling etc on various projects. So I fired them off an email and asked a few questions regarding their black CA glue and they very kindly sent me a package which is very nicely packed, which we will unpack in a minute, containing their clear thin, medium and thick CA glue and the all important black as well. And in addition some applicator nozzles and some CA accelerator spray. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the O3 product range. And in the box we've got the range of glues as I said, we've got thin, medium and thick clear. And I keep saying this, the all important, black thick for crack filling for me anyway. Um, some aerosol accelerator and a pack of various size applicators which can be easily pushed on and what we'll do is go through each one and go through a few tests. So one of the first things I'm going to do is test for bloom. In other words you get that milky finish uh, when you apply accelerator. So I'm going to put the thin on first and then the medium and then the thick see that the thin is already starting to penetrate into this piece of wood and finally the black and all I'm going to do is spray it with the accelerator just to see what sort of blooming we get when it actually dries and we'll come back for that well, in my opinion, that has definitely passed muster. That's the thin, that's the medium, that's the thick, and it's quite a hefty blob of black there. Um, but you can see that we've got the shine, it's all gone, uh, it's all cured, if you like, it's all hard, rock hard, just the shine, no blooming whatsoever. The black isn't completely cured off yet, but as I say, it must be about three, four mil that blob. Um, but on the top where you can see it starting to react there's just a shimmer and there's absolutely no blooming whatsoever which is going to be great for when you do those cracks and you fill it with black CA glue you could put some um, accelerator on there to speed up the process and you shouldn't get any blooming so yep yeah, they've all passed the bloom test with flying colours. So one of the most important things for most users of CA glue is its ability to stick things together. So for this I'm going to take some of the medium and I'm just going to spread a little bit on this piece of wood. This is a piece of um, eucalyptus I think. And then I'm going to spray some accelerator on the other bit and we're going to press them together any old how and let's just see let's do it that way shall we yeah we'll do it that way press them together and just hold pressure down there for about 15 seconds let's move it into into view and uh, I'm not timing this this is not a scientific experiment but um, it would be interesting to see how quickly that goes off I mean most if not all CA glues stick obviously but um, we'll just see how this goes that should be enough time let's just see yeah that is absolutely solid now what I'm going to do is run another little bead just along that's 
that's the thin, we don't want that. I'm going to run another little bead of the medium, just so that you'll be able to see. So let's just say there, and let's just put some activator on there, and see if we get any blooming. And we don't. Just nice, crystal clear. Excellent. So for me, this is the test that I'm interested in. Um, here we've got a piece of U, which is notorious for having uh, cracks in it. So I'm going to fill one with my usual Thin CA using the O3 Thin CA mixed with coffee ground. And on the larger crack here, I'm going to just use neat um, <clears throat> black thick CA and I'm going to let it cure properly like I would normally and we'll see what sort of a surface we get with that when we just take that back to the finished surface, sand it and put a wax coat on it. So the results of the black CA filling these cracks on this piece of U and my usual process, I abraded up to 240 Sanding Sealer, Yorkshire Grit and Hampshire Sheen and this is the Black CA and that is the Coffee Ground and Thin CA. Both are more than acceptable. Um, the Black CA I think wins over the Coffee Ground and Thin CA purely because it's a quicker process. I did use Accelerator on this and I think I'm going to try and I'll give you the results in a later video at some stage. Uh, just filling, it's quite a deep crack, uh, so I would do it in layers and possibly let it cure naturally. And because it's quite um, a, a deep fill, if you like, it's going to take a while, so I'd leave it overnight, I think, but I'll, I'll see how that goes. But all in all, very impressed with this Black CA, does the job, nice contrasting filler, and I shall be using that over my coffee ground and CA, I think, in most cases. And the final test is this uh, piece of spalted beech, very punky. It started life out like that, very, very punky and soft. I've flooded it with one application of Thin CA, the O3 Thin CA, uh, just to see as you can see there, it's been absorbed in, more pla in some places and not so much in others. I'm just going to do a finishing cut over there with a half inch spindle gouge and we'll just see if it improves the surface from that. Okay, nice light cut. Let's just see what happens. Feels quite smooth. I might take another couple of passes there, but if I zoom in, you should be able to see. Whoops, wrong way. Still a few little punky bits there, but um, I would apply more thin CA, but certainly without a shadow of a doubt, much better if I zoom out. That's in. <coughs> a much better uh, surface than this piece here. So, my final verdict. Um, very impressed. Go through it very briefly with you. I did forget to mention that this um, little spalted beach disc here. I attach that to my glue block um, <coughs> with medium CA and the accelerator and it worked well. You saw me turn with it, worked very well. I will try it on a bigger bowl at some stage. I do prefer 
at the moment still my glue block uh, glue joint for joining bowls and that but I will give it a test at a later date and let you know but all in all that held up very well impressed with how the thin CA absorbed well could have done with a few more coats to get a really good finish but it certainly got rid of the punkiness and was able to give a nice smooth surface so that did its job very well the <coughs> um, the lack of bloom when you apply the accelerator to the glue I was very impressed with that as well um, and completely clear nice and shiny no problem at all in fairness most CA glues will stick stuff together um, these products the clear do a very good job um, more than adequately and I would think they they beat some as well but all in all no problem with the clear at all the main reason for me contacting O3 in the beginning was the black CA and that I'm very impressed with it does leave a very good surface to put a finish on as I showed you with the U um, for me it will be a go-to uh, filler if I want a contrasting filler now I will use the black CA glue um, as opposed to my thin CA mixed with um, mixed with shavings but I think at the end of the day it depends whether you want a, a contrasting fill or not but I certainly am very impressed with that and the other thing as well as I keep saying with the accelerator um, obviously if you've got a, 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 a deep fill I personally think it would be better to leave it cure naturally um, and possibly apply another layer but depending how deep your crack is but all in all the products are excellent um, and of course one of the main points as well it's made here in Great Britain which is great if you have any questions or queries you can either ask me in the um, comment section below or indeed contact Wayne at 03 and I'm sure he'll be more than happy to answer your questions um, I will put a link to the 03 website in the description below big thanks again to Wayne for sending me this to have a have a look at and a play with really enjoyed that thank you very much indeed for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon cheers now